Greetings and welcome to our channel. We've got a fun one today for young and old alike as we visit St. Petersburg's Museum of Soviet Arcade Games, also translated as the Museum of Soviet Arcade Machines. Let's check it out! The museum, which is essentially a vintage arcade, has an entrance fee of 450 rubles for adults, 350 for kids, and free for children ages 6 and under. The entrance includes a tour and 15 tokens, but for this video we came here just to check out and play these old Soviet arcade games. The tokens are actually 15 Kopec coins from the former Soviet Union. Pretty cool! Alright, now that we've learned the ground rules, let's get a quick overlook of what's on the first floor. I think you'll find the games to be not that much different than what you'd find in a typical arcade, but admittedly the fact that they're from the Soviet era makes them all the more charming. Along with the different types of arcade games, there's a vintage phone booth. A photo booth from 1971. And a cafe, where you can sit and enjoy an item off the menu. Here's a quick glance at the two-page menu. You'll notice it's translated into English as well. And on the first floor, they also have multiple drink dispensing machines from the early 1990s that include kvass, which is a popular fermented bread drink, and carbonated water. Hmm, looks like that one works a little too well. So what games are on the first floor? Let's find out! With each game, you'll notice a poster hanging next to it that tells you what year it's from, information about its history, and instructions on how to play it. Keep an eye out for that as we go. A full list of the games offered can be found on the museum's website. I'll put a link to it in the description. Ah, Torpedo Attack! They have several games like this one at the Museum of Soviet Arcade Machines. They're quite popular and among my favorites. Sniper 2? Oh yes, I'm definitely going to have to play this one later on. Typical gun-crazy American. Just kidding. And here's the lone pinball style game that was in the museum. Here's a game called Repka that involves feats of strength. I'll have more to say about this one later.
Well, that's your first floor game-wise. Let's head up to the second floor where I see many more Soviet arcade games. Oh, and there's a terrace too if you want to get away from all the commotion. Alright, we're on the second floor. Let's take a look around and see what this place has to offer. This table hockey game is among my favorites as well. While we were able to play it once, it did end up breaking later on while we were there. Almost all the games were in working order during our visit. Some, however, were out of order. This one looks quite promising. Admittedly, I'm intrigued by any game where you get to use a gun. There were several duplicate games within the arcade, but it worked out because some games that were out of order had working duplicates. There's a good amount of games here that involve using a steering wheel. Those games are typically quite fun too. Let's head across the catwalk to the other side of the second floor and see what's there. Over here looks like we have a couple of foosball tables, a basketball game, and an oversized chess game. Now you've seen all that the Museum of Soviet Arcade Machines has to offer. Enough waiting. Marianne and I will now go try out some of these vintage games. Ready? Let's go! Up first, Sniper. This game ended up being my favorite. You get 20 shots at 20 targets. The game gives you a little jolt each time you shoot to help you feel like you're shooting an actual gun. Here's my first attempt. It shows me how many shots I have. And now Marianne's first attempt. She's not as experienced shooting as I am, but hey, we all gotta start somewhere. There we go. Don't worry folks, I'll help her with that stock placement later on when we get back to Indiana. Now my second attempt. Kick back and watch the skills. Nineteen out of twenty. Admittedly, I'm quite proud of myself for this feat of marksmanship. Second Amendment, baby. 
But just minutes later, I'm brought down off my high horse. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Be humble or be humbled. Lesson relearned. Let's move on. Time for the horse boy and boy. The sea battle. Plus torpedoes and ships. Yeah, some of these old arcade games are really hard. And here's another driving game. It's called Virage. Keep an eye on the left side of the screen. I'm steering an orange vehicle that's actually a reflection. Yeah, I think I'm that little shadow thing. I can't, can't even really see it. I'm pretty sure that's me. Stay in this lane. <laughs> While I'm no Josh from Let's Game It Out, I'm pretty close, right? Marianne and I will put our marital peacefulness on the line and go head to head on this Soviet era game called Magistral. One seventy. Well, looks like I failed in my attempt to take down the high score. Let's move on to Tankadrome, which sounds quite promising. Unfortunately though, I found it confusing and just ended up abandoning the objective and just driving the tank around. This game, called Pamyat, which means memory, was a good reason why you should read the instructions of the game to figure out what you're supposed to do. Let's move on to Vazdushni Boy, or as I like to translate it, Dogfight. Ah, 
Yes, so close. Well, I couldn't get that last one. Let's see if Marianne can do better than me. Number two. Can Marianne, unlike me, take out that last enemy jet? Little booger, I couldn't get him either. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A little button here that's what caused you to launch the torpedo. And then you can see up here what I'm shooting at. Oh, whoops, gotta hit the button. Now to the audience, bear in mind, I'm like a radio station DJ. I'm just playing for you the hits. Never mind all the misses. The time has come to play duplet. Maybe I'll try to go at it with two guns blazing. Just kidding. I'll stick with just the one. Huh. Now, how is that possible? Well, it's from almost perfect to, on Sniper 2. Hitting zero on this game. This game is based off of fighter jets as well, but it was far more confusing and not nearly as fun. So we'll just move on. Yes, the pulling game Repka. This game, if you want to call it that, has probably resulted in back injuries of scores of men, young and old. And I'm ashamed to say that my name should be on that list too. I really shouldn't have tried that last little pull. Rookie mistake. Luckily, my back recovered within a few days. In the meantime, let's move on to less potentially harmful things. This game, called Penalty, actually ended up being one of my favorite games. It's like Plinko from The Price is Right, but with a few differences. The main objective is to get the ball into the goal there in the middle.
All right, that's all for now. Thanks for joining us today on our visit to the Museum of Soviet Arcade Machines in St. Petersburg, Russia. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to our channel, sharing this or any of our other videos, liking and or commenting. Until next time, take care and God bless.